This is Mike Scott, the film critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans. And if you go see just one movie this weekend, this is the one. And the spotlight this week is this year's Oscar winning foreign language film, the Austrian made World War II drama The Counterfeiters. And more than anything else, what it is is a taut and wholly absorbing tale. Based on real events, it tells the story of a group of hand-picked concentration camp prisoners who are forced by their Nazi captors into launching what would become the largest counterfeiting ring in history. The Germans' goal here was twofold. First, to destabilize the economies of allied countries by flooding them with bogus banknotes, and secondly, to finance the Nazi war effort. It's a fantastic story and one that's exceedingly well told in The Counterfeiters. There are also some interesting themes at play, namely the survivor's guilt felt by the Jewish prisoners participating in Operation Bernhard, as it was known. They were still prisoners, but they were afforded several amenities that others in the camp weren't. Shoes, for example. Mattresses. A ping-pong table. And they also got a healthy dose of survivor's guilt along the way. After all, while their participation in the plot helped improve their own stations, they were keenly aware that it was also helping the Germans fill mass graves. As nice a job as director Stefan Ruzowitzki does with the counterfeiters, to say nothing of the performance by the remarkably subtle and remarkably effective Austrian actor Karl Markovics, it's hard not to think that perhaps there might be something missing, an extra dimension that might help the film resonate a little more satisfyingly. Still, it's got that Oscar to its credit. That's no counterfeit. And that says something. It's still powerful. It's still captivating. And this week, it's also the one. <laughs>